Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well at home. Now today I thought I'd jump on and do a quick votes for school assembly. So what I'm hoping is that you can see me and you can see the slides that I'm going to share. So votes for school, um, just for parents and children you can't remember, is where we have a discussion topic each week and the slides will go through hopefully stimulate some discussion between you and then there'll be a Google form for you to vote on how you you would answer that question so before we get going though here are some pictures for some new stories this week i'm going to be quiet for a little bit and just uh, you can have a talk with an adult or have a think about what do you think these pictures have been about and why have they been in the news So let's go through and have a look. So the first one is that there's been wildfires burning over 2 million acres of land over in the USA. And they started after one of the hottest days of their year in Los Angeles, which is 49.4 degrees. So the next one is restrictions are changing in England. So the government have changed more about how people can meet up um, hopefully um, to stop the COVID cases spreading. This is one of my favourite news stories of the week, is that on Sunday a piece of space rock the size of Blackpool Tower shot past our planet and it was moving at eight miles per second. So that is incredibly fast. And the last one is that some Manchester um, City players have tested positive and are now self-isolating, just as we are self-isolating as well. So this week's question, as you can see, it was submitted by people from Colchester County High School. And it is, should pupils wear masks in school? Now, it's been a big discussion point, masks, quite a while, for quite a while during this coronavirus. Um, with many adults now having to wear them, pretty much everywhere they go outside of their own houses. So let's talk about whether we think we should wear them in school a bit more and whether you should wear them in school a bit more. So, like as it said, here's normally a class task, but what I'm gonna do is say, if you wanna pause this video to discuss with an adult or just have a think, just think about what's been changing around school. There's some ideas on the screen and we'll come back in a minute. So, yeah, you've probably found out that we were in a big class bubble. So our class was a bubble. We had different start times, different finish times, and different ways of, of how we got to school. So the lining up, coming straight in. Also, we limited really a lot of how we moved around school. So that's why only our bubble had to close and not a lot of other bubbles in the school. Again, you know that we had to wash our hands as soon as we came in. We used hand sanitizer a lot. And that's again, was the key thing. A big difference as well was our break and lunch times. Break times, we had to stay within our bubble. Lunch times, we were eating in, in our classroom rather than in the hall. And then we were also going out. There might have been some other no small changes that you might have noticed. But again, one of these is that you might have seen adults around school sometimes wearing masks and you didn't need to at the minute. Now, one of the reasons why we had to wear masks is again, because we'd get together in groups or pass each other, we thought it'd be safer for us. So why are we talking about this? So as you know, children and young people have headed back to school over the past few weeks, there's been one question that came up a lot and a lot. Will I have to wear a mask? So the UK government talked a lot about pupils and whether they should have to wear masks around school. However, Boris Johnson, our prime minister, did say that wearing masks in the classroom wouldn't make much sense. So at the moment, primary school pupils don't need to have to wear a mask to school or in school, but there are many people that still think they should. And during this assembly, and then when you vote, 
your what we're asking is what do you think do you think you should do you think you shouldn't so there's lots of measures in place at the minute to keep you and everyone around you safe while we're in busy places so just like at the end of the day we're practicing social distancing a lot so that means parents ask being asked to stand two meters apart you might see us adults in the corridor standing further apart from each other as well i've already said it we've been washing our hands quite a lot at school when we were there so when we came in during points of the day and again we'd be using hand sanitizer a lot as well so again Adults and people, and most people in secondary schools, do have to wear masks, and that is again to help stop the spread. You've probably noticed that we clean a lot more during the day as well. So, again, just before lunch, we clean up all the tables. During the day, you'll see people coming around and washing surfaces and cleaning door handles whilst we're in school. And again, there's been a lot of things about avoiding crowds, so that means make sure things aren't as built up so studies have shown now a study is like a scientific thing or some research this is wearing masks to stop you passing on the virus if you have it but didn't realize so it's those people that don't realize they have it are called asystematic people because not everyone shows symptoms well there is no perfect solution so it's your best to do everything to reduce our chances of getting the virus or passing it on so you're still not sure think about all these measures being like you're in a car the car has brakes has seat belts has airbags to keep people safe and the driver needs a license to be able to drive the car well well just one might keep you safe if something were to happen is it better to have all of them just in case now again I'm going to ask you to pause the video in just a second and have a think about talking with an adult or just having to think to yourself whether you think these facts are true or false. So pause the video and then press play when you're ready to carry on. Right, had some time to discuss them. So let's go through them. Masks help to stop the virus, the spread of the virus. True. Covering your nose and mouth stops respiratory droplets, which can carry the virus from reaching other people. The next one, your mask needs to cover both your mouth and nose properly to work. True. So a study, so again, that's a piece of research, has found that the coronavirus infects the cells in the nose more easily than the throat or the lungs so again it's important to make sure if you we're going to wear a mask it's not here it's across both bits masks make it harder to breathe which can make you ill false some of us find masks quite uncomfortable to wear but they don't actually affect your breathing as long as they are clean and they won't make you ill so it's okay to wear the same mask twice just as long as you don't share it that's false once your mask becomes damp it needs to be washed or thrown away you should never share a used mask and wearing a mask will stop you getting the coronavirus that one we're not quite sure on that's possibly but other measures such as social distancing and hand washing also need to be followed to keep everyone safe so to help you start thinking about this i've now got some views that some people have said and you might want to think while reading this is does it show that children should or shouldn't wear masks at school so this person says when children are learning new sounds and words they usually look at the person's mouth they can't do that when everyone is wearing a mask now especially when we're looking at sounds in school, using our sounds to sound that word, if I cover my mouth, would you be able to pick up all the sounds that I'm saying? This person says, we need to help children to adapt to the new normal. They will be wearing masks everywhere. 
so they need to get used to used to them so this person is saying that actually there's a lot of changes going on and we all have to get used to them should we get everyone used to wearing masks now so this person says in school children are seeing the same people every day so if they're in a bubble together and together they don't need a mask however if they're on the bus with strangers they should wear a mask so this person saying that because when we were in school we were 4ck we're all together all of the time would wearing a mask stop us or help us in that scenario he's saying then he's carrying on outside of that school bubble for example if we were in corridors we went somewhere else should we put masks on then because we could be crossing a different bubble so this person thinks children are more likely to touch their masks or to take them off and put them back on again which is could actually be worse than not wearing a mask so remember as soon as it's been worn once or as soon as it's been damp then it needs to be washed to be reused so again if we're going to play with the masks during the day take them off take them on are we actually stopping the spread of the virus so masks don't stop us getting coronavirus but if we have the virus and don't have any symptoms a mask can help stop you from spreading it to others so here they're saying that actually the mask stops us passing it on so should we be wearing them to make sure other people don't get it so we're coming towards the end i've summed up some yes or no views that people have already given during this week's topic so remember i'm going to be asking you to have a think about should pupils wear masks in schools so in the yes we should busy areas like the corridor or dining hall have lots of children that are from different bubbles wearing a mask would help them a lot of studies and research are suggesting that children don't actually show symptoms so children are asymptomatic um, which means that they could have some they could have the coronavirus not show symptoms but still pass it on and a mask would help make sure it wasn't passed on getting used to wearing a mask in school will help us when we're outside of school too i don't mind wearing a mask i can still concentrate so why not and then some no views even if we wear a mask at school we still use the same equipment and facilities such as toilets and the lunch hall so germs will spread anyway Coronas, coronavirus doesn't really affect children that badly so we don't need to wear a mask wearing masks makes it harder to hear the teacher and each other which could make learning more difficult wearing a mask is uncomfortable and distracts me from learning which is why i'm at school so thinking about all that you've listened to and all that was information that was on the slide have a talk with your adult or other people in your house and think should primary school children wear masks at school underneath this video there'll be a google form with you for you to be able to submit your vote um, the vote's going to be open until probably the end of Monday, so make sure you vote by then. But until then, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you all soon.